Right guys, Mark Crossfield here. We're hitting R15 tailor-made drivers today. I've got the 460 and the 430. Let's match them up, see how low spinning one is compared to the other. Um, very similar tech in both. Let's show you some real ball data. We've got the Pro V1, Titus Pro V1X balls and my GC2 HMT. Um, to show you some data on how these two clubs might perform best to help you play some better golf. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, tailor-made R15. Um, we're getting the white head black face on both of these clubs. Basically, they're exactly the same club, really, apart from one's 430 and one's 460 on their basic design, but all the other tech on there is the same. Sliding bar weights on the bottom. You get two weights on the R15. You can position the weights in different positions to try and maybe change ball flights. Uh, there's talk about making this one a little bit more stable by moving weight away from where the CG is as well. I think putting more weight at the back would make more stability than moving it to the corners, but that's a different point. But it's arguably more, they're arguing it's more stable than its predecessor SLDR in both. Um, R15 in the 430 is arguably going to be lower spinning due to that smaller head shape. Um, we get this neck sleeve on both of these clubs as well, so you can dial in lofts and bits, what have you, um, to try and uh, control ball flight. So let's give them both a hit. We're going to start with the 460 first off. And like I say, we're going to just uh, hit the range balls to start, and then I'm going to show you some real ball data as well at the end of how they're actually both performing. Um, R15, 460 down by the ball with a white head, black face does look very good. I do like the look of the colourway. I'm not sure about the shape of these clubs. I, I, hard for me to say, I, I'd still like SLDR over these, but let's give the 460 a hit. Um, it's a roundish shape, almost slightly stretched back at the back. It's a good old whack off the face, it is a nice flight. I've tested these clubs quite a bit now, the R15s, and I do get good numbers with them as a general rule. I'm more interested to see how different, subject to my strike, if I can get anywhere near equivalence, um, how different 460 is going to be to 430. Let's give this one another hit. Hit that one really nicely. I do think 460 is going to present nicely down by the ball for golfers who want that bit of confidence. How much you want to get dialed in and what have you, my advice really with any of these dialed in clubs is to kind of get them fit by a professional fitter and then maybe leave them there or even work with your coaches and see if what kind of difference they can and can't make. Uh, R15 460, I like it, it's good. I don't love it, um, but I do like it. So if we go to the 430, like I say, basically it's the same club really. It's just got... Um, a smaller head shape and it does look cute. I mean, out of the two, I prefer the look of the 430. Um, I just struggle with the 460. It just looks a little bit too, I don't know, pulled back or this side of it. I don't know what it is that's making me not like the look of that so much. Um, I can't quite pinpoint it, but I do like the look of the 430 a little better, that little head design. It's a nice shape. It looks identical, really, to that small head. So let's give it a hit, see if I can feel any difference. Same sound, same feel to be honest, and a very similar ball flight. I'm looking forward to seeing how low, more low spin this one is. I would imagine usually around 300 revs. Um, so if you are someone who struggles with high spins, you're not going to knock thousands off, but you might knock a few revs off, which just get you into your tolerance of hitting some a few longer drives possibly. When I was lucky enough to film with the tailor-made um, tour players and they were SLDR'd up at that point, not the R15 hadn't been released, they were all 430. They were all in that small head, which I thought was quite interesting. Always trying to kind of maximise that spin ratio almost. Let's give this one more hit. I mean, out of the two, I would gain 430. Be interesting to see the numbers. I'm going to hit one more with that because I'm tempted to put it in the bag, the 430 version of this. I've not... I didn't use the 430 of SLDR, which I really loved and still kind of, it's in and out of my bag still now. Um, out of the two for me, I'm going on looks and that 430 would do it for me over the 460. I just think with its press of being less forgiving and how much of that is true, I'm still trying to work that one out with studies and talking with people. Um, 
I think they would just be even more scared with the 430 head. The 460 in theory is going to offer a little bit more help, a, a little bit, but it will offer some. Let's give this one more hit. Yeah, hit that really well. There we go, guys. Let's look at some real numbers. Out of the two for me, I would game 430 all day long, um, which is interesting because in SLDR, I was gaming 460 and had no problems. I'm just not quite sure of the shape of the 460, where I actively like the shape of the 430 and the look. Uh, and for me, I'd be surprised if the numbers are massively different. If the numbers are close enough, or if I definitely, if I got a better performance out of the 460, it would have to be considerably better for me not still to game the 430, because I just feel like I want to look down at that a bit more. Let's check these numbers out. Right guys, numbers time, tailor-made R15, the 460 head. So I'm averaging 266 carry topping out at 273 with only 2000 revs um, shot 16 there swing it there spinning at 27 so 700 revs difference when i move it more centered interesting when i get it a little bit more toey so eight millimeters toe and a bit higher on the face it drops down by 700 revs strike is king guys strike is king. Um, averaging at 2.3, carrying at 2.66, good numbers. So if we compare that up to R15 460, 2.69 carry, topping out at 2.72, so it's longer, I've got 2.72, 2.71, 2.72, and spinning down at 1.8. That's SLDR good, isn't it? That one for me. 17 launch, it's interesting how the 1.8 spin average 2.69 gives me more consistency in the 270 and that's what made me go to SLDR if I go back uh, 273 was the longest on R15 460 um, so I actually hit my longest drive with the 460 strike is king guys strike is king you can get so bored of me saying that um, but it's interesting I'm getting more into the 270s with the 430 so for me there on those two ones I like the look of the 430 better even though I got my longest hit by one yard carry with 460. The fact that I get more into the 270s is what would make me want to go for that 430, plus the fact that I like the look of it so much more. Um, if these numbers were swipped, uh, uh, flipped around, I would still be able to justify why I'd still want the 430. Again, those looks would come through uh, as king for me. But it's a lower spinning model, isn't it? It's, it's 1.8, averaging where it was, what was it, two, three, so 500 revs for me on those two. So the small head, lower spinning than the big head for me on that test, which I think is an interesting one. Do all clubs perform the same? Well, not really. They are slightly different, and it's slightly. Again, the strike is going to be the king here, um, but, and it's not the most sign. You'd have to robot test if you want to know exact, but I reckon from robot testing, they're between three and 500 revs. That's what I would guess the difference between those two clubs. So you want lower spinning clubs, but you can sacrifice that small head, 430R15 for me. I like the look of it a bit more. Definitely the numbers I want to see. That's important as well. I know what numbers I want to see, what kind of flights I want, I want to see, what kind of carries I want to get. Uh, and the 430 version of the R15 is doing it for me. Post comments down below as always guys, thanks for watching. Uh, another pointless club repair uh, compare for you. Um, when you're looking at drivers, uh, they're all going to go very similar distances, yes. Many factors, how you deliver the club, what loft you deliver, what static loft you start with, what dynamic loft you deliver, those things on fits are so important. What head shapes, colours, feel, sounds you like where some of these weights can go, if they can help you, if they cannot. There is so many reasons to get fit. So many people are reading these videos in the wrong way, unfortunately. But as my message has been from the start, get fit, go and see a pro, get a lesson. That can help you as much as any shiny new toy. 430 shiny new toy might be shining new toying into the bag. Don't know. Thanks for watching. Post comments down below. Speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.